What income does it take to be in the top 1% of all retirees? You'd think that'd be a relatively simple project to research. Turns out it wasn't. So stick around and benefit from the work that I did to uncover these hard to find numbers. Let's go for a walk and, and talk about it. And you know, the first thing I want to observe is that most of us probably would not recognize, could not tell by the lifestyle, folks that are in the top 10% of all retiree income. When I get to the numbers, I, I think you'll, you'll say, okay, I think I would be able to recognize people that are in the top 1%. I'll give you a hint, it's a, it's a much bigger number than, than I thought it was going to be. Okay, and, and so why is that? You know, why wouldn't we recognize uh, the folks that are in the top 10%? And it's because like a lot of things in life, you know, if you look at millionaires and millionaires lifestyles, you know, 70% of millionaires in America are self-made. And, and most of them, most of us uh, got there um, by being, you know, uh, uh, careful with our money and, and, and being good savers as, as much as uh, being fortunate and, and receiving a, a good salary along the way. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with what these numbers look like for all Americans. And this is from a large data set. They say it's the largest population data set uh, in the world and the organization is called IPUMS. And this is for all Americans, not just retirees. So uh, to be in the top, well, first let's start off with median. And, and this is household. This is household income. The median household income uh, in the United States for, for everybody, all ages, is, is $70,000. To be in the top 25%, you've got to make about $130,000. To be in the top 10%, you're making a little over $200,000. The household income, a little over 200,000, it's 212,000. And to be in the top 1%, you're making over $500,000 a year now. Um, and the number is 570,000. What was interesting is each of those groups from, um, 2021 to 2022. So this is a data set uh, that they released the results of at the end of 2022. Each of those groups got a raise between 2021 and 2022. Unfortunately, from the median and below on an inflation adjusted basis, folks that are at the median below uh, are actually making less on an inflation adjusted basis. Folks that are above the median are making more in 2022. And we've heard this play out in the press. Okay, so, so those are the income levels. Now let's talk about savings. And there's a really interesting point I wanna, I wanna share with you here. Okay, to be in the, um, to be in the top 1% of savers in the United States, this is the top 1%. If you're between 65 and 69, 75 and 79, or over 80, it's to be in the top 1%, you've gotta have $2.7 million in what's called net worth. And net worth is just take all of your assets, all of your savings accounts, the value, if you own a house, the value of your house, and subtract from it the, the, the debt that you have on that essentially. So you just take all of your assets and you subtract all your liabilities, your car loan, your, your mortgage, your credit card debt, hopefully you don't have too many of the latter two, uh, and that's your net worth. So uh, if you have a net worth of $2.7 million, a household net worth uh, in the United States, you're in the top 1%. What I wanna point out is, you know, if you look at the income, boy, that income is really staggering, right? I mean, the top 1% of income is 570,000 or higher. And, you know, some people will say, well, you know, that number seemed a little low. I was expecting that top 1% of income to be higher. And I, I agree, but that's like the last person that made it into the top 1%. So there's plenty of people in that category that are making a lot more money. But think about this, you know, the the lowest income in the top 1% is almost $600,000, right? It's $570,000. Yet, to be the top 1% in savings, you just need $2.7 million or more. Um, and what that tells me is, you know, as a society, as a country, it's no surprise, we're not saving enough money. And so, um, 
it's not enough to make a great salary. You've got to be able to to save it. But to me, that was just staggering that, you know, essentially that top 1%, you know, if they were the savers, they essentially have saved, uh, what, five years worth of income. Uh, and most of us could not retire if we had just saved five years worth of income, right? So that just shows just the the importance of living below your means and, and saving as much as you can. Okay, let's keep going. Now I'm gonna break it out by decile. And again, this is household, and this is according to the Congressional Research Service. So the, the lower quintile, so there's five groups, the lower one-fifth, the lower 20% of Americans are making under $22,000 a year. Then the next group up from that are making, you know, between that 22,000 and 40,000. The next group up to that is, is making between 40,000 and 65,000. Um, so you can see that, you know, 80% of Americans households are making less than $65,000 a year. Now I haven't got to retirement. That's coming up here really soon. Um, let me get to the top quintile. The top quintile households in America are a little over $110,000. Let's call it $111,000. Okay, so now let's get to what I finally was able to find out. So I've shared a lot of information here. And I think many of you are listening to this, this, uh, these numbers and saying, you know what, I'm doing okay. You know, it's hard to get that high, high salary. But if you're saving and if, if you're uh, spending less than you earn, if you're saving that, and then importantly, if you're investing that, remember, it's not enough to just save. You have to invest it. You have to get compounding working for you. So a lot of you, I think, are looking at the at least the savings number and saying, yeah, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. And I hope you are. I hope you are. Okay. So now getting on to the... Uh, uh, the, the top income in retirement. Uh, and before I get there, if you're enjoying this video, take a quick second and hit the like button. It really does help the algorithm. Uh, find other people that this, this video uh, and my videos can help. Okay, so um, I'm gonna break this out. The top 10%, the top 5%, and the top 1%. So people 65 to 69. Now this is people that are working and not working. Top 10% is 200,000. Top 5% is 260,000. Top 1% is essentially $1 million. Okay, so that's 65 to 69. And now for people 70 to 74, numbers come down a little bit. Top 10% is $170,000. Top 5% uh, is 260, is that right? Yeah, 265,000. And the last number is a million dollars. So retirees to be in the top 1% of all people 65 and older, you need to be making a million dollars a year just to put that in perspective, that rule of 25. If that's what the, uh, if that's what the income is, then they had, they'd have to have $25 million in savings by the, the rule of 4%. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I know you're gonna like this video up here that talks about average income for retirees in America. In this video down here that talks about five reasons to retire as soon as you can. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.